second category is the classification on the basis of nutritional value or the nutritional availability so what the second classification now we will discuss on the basis of their nutritional value on the basis of their nutritional value in older books you will find there are two classifications what are those two classifications those, those, those two classifications are two sub categories are essential amino acids and second is non essential amino acids this is the older classification but according according to the new classification there is another class on the basis of their nutritional value that is semi essential amino acid now what is what are these amino acids or what are what is the definition of these subclasses first of all essential amino acids essential amino acids are such type of amino acids these are such type of the amino acids which cannot be synthesized by the body cannot be synthesized by the body and we have to take these amino acids through our diet such type of amino acids are called as essential amino acids once again i'm going to repeat it that what are the essential amino acids essential amino acids are such type of the amino acids which cannot be synthesized in the body but we have to take these amino acids through our diet such type of amino acids are called as essential amino acids and uh, uh, the formula or the mnemonic to remember these essential amino acid is PTV, Tim, Hall. This is a mnemonic to remember this uh, essential amino acid that is the PTV, Tim, Hall. This is very easy mnemonic to memorize where P for proline, T for tryptophan, V for valine, T for uh, tyrosine, I for isoleucine, M for methionine, H for histidine and L for leucine and isoleucine. This, this is uh, the, we can say that this is the formula or the mnemonic to remember this uh, essential amino acid. Second one is non-essential amino acids. Non-essential amino acids are such type of amino acids which cannot be which can be synthesized these are such type of the amino acids the body can synthesize them and we don't need to take them through diet or in our diet so such type of amino acids are referred as non essential amino acids and the remaining one from after the select after selecting from the 20 amino acids after selecting the essential amino acids what we left is the non essential amino acids is that clear now the third category which was in, uh, introduced later on that is the semi essential amino acids semi essential amino acids are such type of the amino acids which behave which behave non essentially as well as essentially once again i am going to repeat my words that this is the third class semi essential amino semi essential amino acid that these amino acids actually these behave as non essential as well as essential this now the question is in what conditions these semi semi essential amino acids will behave essentially once again that in what conditions 
these will behave essentially the conditions in which they behave essentially and you know very well what does it means essentially essentially means we have to take them through our diet and what are those conditions <coughs> those conditions whenever there is the growth of the body whenever lactation pregnancy and the fourth condition is infection like whenever there is cancer in the body not typically infection but mostly in cases of cancer so these are the four conditions in which these semi essential amino acids they behave as essential amino acids otherwise whenever there is no uh, condition from these then these will behave as non essential amino acids we don't need to take them through our diet but uh, they are produced uh, what uh, in in uh, the quantity in which quantity they are being produced in the in our body that is sufficient for us but whenever there is any condition from the following like growth lactation pregnancy or cancer then we need to take these amino acids through our diet and then they are behaving as essential amino acids now the question is what are those semi essential amino acids about which we are so em much emphasizing those amino acids are histidine and arginine these two amino acids these actually they are behaving as semi essential amino acids mean to say they can behave as so non essential amino acid as well as as, uh, as uh, essential amino acid so this was about the classification of amino acids on their nutritional value once again i am going to repeat that on the basis of their nutritional value amino acids can be in older books you will find two classifications but in your uh, few versions you will find three uh, classifications according to the older classification essential as well as non essential amino acid but according to the new subdivisions there is another class that is semi essential amino acids if we talk about the essential amino acids essential amino acids are such type of the amino acids which cannot be synthesized in the body but body need it badly so we have to take them through our diet so such type of the amino acids are essential amino acids and what is a mnemonic to remember these essential amino acids that is a ptb tem hall and uh, what about the non essential amino acids non essential amino acids uh these can be synthesized in the body we don't need to take them through our diet so such type of the amino acids are non essential amino acids and the third class is semi essential amino acids semi essential amino acids are such type of the amino acids which uh depending upon the condition of the body of the cells they behave either as essential amino acid or as non essential amino acids now the question is what are those conditions in which they are behaving either as essential or non essential if we talk about the conditions in which they behave as essential amino acids those conditions are growth lactation pregnancy and cancer which means whenever there is any condition in the body from these then the amino acids will behave as essential amino acids we have to take them through our diet but when they uh, there is no uh, condition from these then these amino acids will be behaving as non essential amino acids and what are the amino acids which are placed in the category of semi essential amino acids those amino acids are histidine as well as the arginine this is the second classification of uh, amino acid